Hey, welcome back. It's Carl here. Today in Power BI, we're going to be working on how to comment, how to share, and how to subscribe in the Power BI service. So the first thing we want to do is, if you want to create a comment, you want to come up here to comment. And if you hover over, it, it'll let you know that this is the comment. And you'll click on comment, and now you're going to start a conversation within this report. So you just click on got it. And then here it shows you, you can enter your comments here and then you can add the person that you actually want to talk to. So if I say at myself, then you know that I can start having that conversation with me. Then I can say something like, hello. Then what will happen is, I will, since I have access to the report, I will get that comment and now I know a conversation has actually started. Now, if it's a person that doesn't really have permissions for this, this Power BI report, what we can do is share some of the permissions. In order to do that, we will come here to share, and then we're gonna click on this asterisk right here, and we're gonna manage the permissions of this report. Once we go to manage the permissions of report, we're gonna get some links to give an access. There are no sharing links. So now we know nobody's really gonna share this report or we can just come here to grant people access. If we grant people access, we kind of, we get an email population up, and then it'll let us know what we're giving them access to. So we're gonna allow per participants to share this report. No, nah, if we don't want that, we can just unselect it. Allow rec uh, recipients to build content. If we don't want that, we can just say, no, nah, we don't wanna allow that. Or if we just wanna send an email notification, then we can just leave that selected and we can also add a message to saying you now have permissions to this report. And then you can just kind of let them know what you want them to do. And you just kindly come here and just enter the name and then you'll grant that access to that particular person. And that is how you grant them access to this particular report. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna say, well, I want this report to go out to my work group every Monday so that they can know where they're at in their sales because every Monday we have increases and we have, or we may have decreases. So I want to have a subscription on, on this report so that the entire work group knows. So what we do to do that is we come up here to subscribe. We create a new subscription. In order to create that new subscription, we're just gonna click here and we can click on what report we wanna be subscribed to. And then we'll just put in the distribution list. So the work group here, and then we'll put the subject is weekly sales or something like that, or sales update. And then we'll say how frequent we want this to go out. So we can say daily or weekly. So if we just want it to come out every Monday, we can come here and just get rid of all the other days and it'll go every Monday at a particular time. Let's just say nine o'clock AM. And then this is central time. You can actually click on more options here and you kind of create a message and say something like, um, please review your sales for the week. Leave this is whatever that report page is. You can pick the date that you want it to start on, and you can pick the date you want it to end on. If you don't want it to end, you don't want to select end date, but you can just select the start date. And then you can also include some permissions. So you can say permissions to access the report, a link to the report, or a preview image. So, or you can just do full report attachment. And you can select what file you format you want it in. So if you want it in a PDF, if you just want them to see a picture, and then you want to eliminate all of this stuff then they'll just see a picture if you want them to just see a picture and then just give them a link so that they can dive right into that report from that link then you can give them a link and then all you would do here is save and close if you actually wanted to run that subscription you just hit run now so we'll just run it and what do we get we get an unable to run so first we need to save it and close it so we're going to save it and close it then we're going to come back into subscriptions and then we can say run now and we'll see what that report looks like if we run it now. So we're sending this subscription. So I should get an email here in a second to let me know that that report is being sent to me. 
so we have received the email so this is what the email will look like and I'll just download the images so we'll get this email and it'll just say this is a sales update from Microsoft Power BI to the person that the subscription is set up for and it'll give us the PDF so if we click on this PDF and open it we'll see what that PDF looks like so now we see what that PDF look like page one page two so it's going to give you the entire Power BI report the next thing you want to look at is where it says please review your sales for the week and with that you can just go to that report it's giving us that link that we decided to make accessible for the end user then it's going to give us this message here you're receiving this email because you subscribe to this particular report and then you can just hit go to report and this will give you the ability to just go straight to that report from that email and that is and this is what will it will look like so now we have successfully created a subscription in Power BI and that is what the subscription looks like if we go to manage our subscription now if we wanted to stop the subscription at any time we can just come here and just say stop subscription save and close it now that subscription is no longer running on your Power BI report last but not least if I wanted to just share this report with somebody and say hey I'm working on this I'm working on this report and I want you to just take a look at it be my second set of eyes can you vet this data for me just make sure that I'm not missing anything that I'm dotting all my eyes crossing all my T's you can come up here to share and then you can just click a name and I'll just pick myself and I just want to share this report to myself and just say be be my second set of eyes on this then I can just send this report out and then now now that report has been sent the good thing about sending a report is you have the ability to come here to manage permissions and then this lets you know if you actually have any live reports out there that you're allowing people to look at and you can come here and allow and change the settings for those particular links so people won't share the report that you share to them you can only it'll only give them permission to view the report that you share it to them so you can come here and do that or you can come here and you can actually delete that link so that that link will no longer be active once you delete this out of your power bi service so we'll just so this is what it looks like when this comes to your email so we'll just click on that and we'll get a chance to see what that looks like so i'll just download the pictures so it says that carl huff has shared a report with you and it give you the message be be my second set of eyes and you can open this report and if i open that report this is what will happen i'll just sign in and now i can look at that report and be his second set of eyes or be my second set of eyes and that is how you comment set up a subscription and share a report in power bi